Hey, back again with more Japanese tools. Uh, this time, going over some vintage Japanese tools that I have. Uh, these are my uh, my little collection of vintage Aigo, Aigo uh, adjustable wrenches. So, Aigo, uh, unfortunately, they're out of business. <laughs> so, they went out of business about 10 years ago. And uh, before that, they made tools for um, something like 80 years or so. Um, you know, very uh, well-known brand across Asia and, uh, you know, Australia, New Zealand. Um, I've seen them in America, Canada. So they're around and they've been around for a long time. But sadly, they went the way of the dodo. So this is uh, my little collection of adjustable wrenches. I do have also one smaller, so unfortunately I don't have that with me right here. Uh, so I go 150 millimeter. Some of these are well used. You can see the chrome is chipping off. These were never um, premium tools. These were good, hardworking, uh, everyday industrial tools. So honest. Nothing crazy. So you can see chrome's chipped off in a few places. The nice Igo logo. The four jeans are always nice on these. Drop forged, made in Japan. That's the little guy. Like I said, I have a hundred millimeter as well. I don't have it with me here. Got the two hundred millimeter Igo. Aigo Kogyo was the name of the company. Aigo Industries or Aigo Industrial, however you want to translate it. Japan, that's the 200 millimeter. Um, and I use these. I still use them. You know, it's my collection. Uh, but I, uh, I use these all the time. 250 millimeter. Aigo, made in Japan. You can see some of these are well used except my 300 millimeter ooh ah barely used so this one's uh, excellent shape lived an easy life apparently since i've had it um i've been using it so it was made to be used and i'll use it till it's uh till these are all worn to to dust so Big honking one. This is actually my first one, my first iGo tool I ever got. I think that was. I think that's true. Uh, this is my hundred or four hundred and fifty millimeter iGo big honker, chrome molly bellum, drop forged eighteen inches, made in Japan. Big honking sucker. You can see the size of that that head there. It's the size of my hand. Big beefy guy. Thing's awesome. Love this thing. Great to have around. Big capacity, large capacity. Um, there is, I know for a fact they made a 600 millimeter, and unfortunately, I cannot find one. So uh, if you have one or you know someone who does, let me know. I, I'm interested in it. So those are the, my adjustable wrenches, but recently, happened to come across some regular wrenches. Uh, this is not a full set. Now this one, nothing special, the 7 8 is has been used. You can see it's been around the block a few times, made in Japan. These aren't like some kind of crazy, uh, you know, the chrome is not like a Nepros ratchet from Japan, nothing like that. Um, these are just mid-range wrenches, maybe low to mid-range, but definitely quality steel, works great. But I found some new old stock iGo items. So this is a brand new, new old stock, one inch. So I had to snag them, you know. I don't know how long these have been sitting around, at least 10 years, but uh, they could be... Um, they could be very old. Who knows? Got them from a hardware store. 
way off the beaten path. So they've probably been there quite a while. So that's the one inch new old stock. And I got these for like nothing, like literally nothing, a couple of dollars each. Um, brand new, never been used in all these years. Three, 13 sixteenths. Uh, I just got the sizes they had. This one I, already, they, I got separately. As you can see, there's no 15 sixteenths, no three quarter, but here's an 11 sixteenths, new old stock. And the same hardware store had a couple other Japanese items that were new old stock. So I just want to show those off. Here we got a made in Japan, three quarter inch to half inch adapter. This is by the brand Center. Um, the only place I've seen Center tools are like really old, like 70s, uh, small toolboxes with uh, like ratchets and uh, socket sets, things like that. So nothing like super, this isn't like a high-end tool at all, but uh, made in Japan, new old stock. So I don't really use three quarters. Uh, Three-quarter inch drive very much. You know, there's like a big honking 46 millimeter right. So every once in a while, I'll, <laughs> I use the three-quarter inch. But um, when I do, I'll be able to use my half-inch ratchet with this. So that's the center adapter. And they had some more new old stock, so I had to get it. This is by, uh, if you're into Japanese tools, you've probably seen these. These are the Pro Auto brand, made by SEK. Um, sometimes it's branded SEK, Suikage, uh, Suikage Tools. So you can see the plastic on these is falling apart. But what this is, is like a tool organizer. Like a spiral so you can put uh, wrenches or uh, extensions like they show here extensions and a ratchet so um, yeah this is the Sui, Sui Kage Pro Auto let's take a look at it they're calling this an accessory hanger unit and the plastic is kind of falling apart here so you can see what it is. It's kind of just a, a metal spiral spring on a backer. And you can toss your, your wrenches and your tools and it kind of keeps them organized. So, different things. So pretty neat for the toolbox. Um, I think that's gonna come in handy. And I got a few of them, so see here look at this packaging i mean i don't know how long this was sitting on the shelf but it must have been quite a while this is uh, just disintegrating so we got the suikage pro auto uh even pro auto it's not like a premium brand or anything i'd say it's slightly above average um i don't i don't know if i have any pro auto items i might um but definitely not many but now I do, for sure. So, made in Japan, of course. What? Well, actually, it doesn't say made in Japan. Hmm. I, I'm assuming these are made in Japan since they're so old. I can't imagine they were made in Taiwan. But uh, I guess it's possible. There's no branding on these at all. And, uh, yeah, it just says... Uh, Suikage Tsuru, Su, Suikage Tools does not say made in Japan or Nihonsei, Nipponsei. So I got four of these. I couldn't pass them up. New old stock. I mean, when, when do you see that uh, kind of middle of nowhere hardware store? So um, pretty neat, I thought. Pro Auto Tool Organizers. So that is kind of my vintage... Look at some vintage tools, some new old stock items I got. 
and my uh, my nice little collection of uh, adjustable wrenches from iGo. And that's it for today. That's all the Japanese tools for today. And we'll see you next time with more Japanese tools. Thanks for watching.